interesting thing uh, we talked about at halftime was I thought we were shooting a good number. We are shooting 45% from the floor, but we were turning the ball over, turning the ball over and fouling. So that was the biggest thing that we talked at halftime. I thought defensively we held them to 30% from the floor in the, in the first half, but look how many points they had at halftime from the free throw line. We had three guys with two fouls and one guy with, with three fouls. So that was the difference. We got out in transition. We, we moved the ball. Instead of dribbling, we passed it, and we got, uh, we got better shots in that third quarter. Obviously, you would have wanted your team to improve the turnovers, but were you expecting it to be that good and that clean? Well, how, what did we have in the second half? Five? We had 12 in the first? Well, you know, that's what happens. When we don't turn it over, we get shots up. I think we shoot the ball particularly well. Uh, the other thing, the other thing I thought rebounding wise, we, we did a really, really good job. That was, that was fixing, fixing the turnovers, the not fouling and, and doing a great job uh, on the glass. I mean, we limited them to eight offensive rebounds and three of them were team rebounds. That's pretty good. Because they're a very good rebounding team. And speaking of that rebounding game, it's pretty easy to dominate when you've got someone like Betty who's almost out rebounding the entire team herself. I thought she rebounded out of her area. She had a great second half. Her and Shea only played five, what, five minutes apiece in the, in the, in the first half because they both picked up two fouls. What's it going to take to get you guys to keep how well you did in the second half with only five? Keep that throughout the whole game. I don't know. We're still searching for that. It's uh, The only thing is you don't have many more games left. We've played how many? What are we now? 18 and 11, yeah. 29 games. You know, I think it's, it's a variety of things. I think we've played so many different lineups. We've played a lot of youth, a lot of inexperience. You know, I don't think we've, you know, usually you're not sitting down at this time of the year. And even though we won 18 games saying we've, we've really put two halves together. We haven't, I mean, just, just for one reason or another. Um, but, you know, we got one more game. We've won 18 games. What is it? Probably three-way tie for second, third, fourth, whatever. It's going to come down to. It's going to come down to seeding. You know, with everything that we've been through, uh, and the injuries and such, and playing. You know, I, I think a lot of these young guys have really improved throughout the year. Look at Bermejo, Saniki, and and Harvey, and Pinzon, and you know, we're playing without Bravinkova and Alvarez. You do <laughs> so. this every year. Um, turn around on a Saturday and have to go play UConn on a Monday. How do you yeah. prepare for that? Well, I, I mean, it's always come down because us, us in Connecticut have always, you know, TV requests us in Connecticut, and we've always been picked second. And um, it's, it's a tough turnaround. We had a tough turnaround. We only had one day so for these guys because we played three games a week before. And uh, when you play in a three game week, you got to give your team two days off the following week. So we got we had East Carolina, and we had the last we practiced yesterday. Had a shoot around today, but previous two days we were off. So we had only a day. We'll, we'll have, we had the same preparation for SMU that we're going to have against UConn. Again, different, different level of opponent too, though. And another master class from Aliza, nine assists in the game. What did she do? Well, the ball got out of her hands in the first half. She was dribbling too much and trying to get into gaps and stuff. You know, second half, she threw it up to, to L and Sid and found post players running. Um, and then look at the difference in the shots she got in the second half than in the first half. So. Tonight, kind of the end of an era, uh, Henshaw was the last player to play on an NCAA tournament. Right. For you guys. Mm -hmm. But on a night like tonight, almost 70% of your scorers were underclassmen. Does that say anything encourage you for the future of this program? Well, Shea played in an NCAA game too, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You forgot about her. Yeah. So it's not, not sure about you, but I guess I, it's not the first time I've been wrong with you. No, nah, that's all right. <laughs> Uh, you didn't I have got, many guys up there at FSU. Uh, huh? I remember you didn't have many guys available up there at FSU. FSU. Yeah, well, which year? The year you went up to FSU, FSU and um, – Well, twice in a row because we had Missouri. Oh, Missouri, yeah, they beat us at the buzzer. And then when Buffalo went to the Sweet 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we're going to miss T. She's, she's meant so much to us. Um, like, I, it, it's, it's funny, I talk about she's, she's been a, 
then what is it, those crash dummies in the car? She's had sole, shoulders, backs, ankles, knees, you know? She's been beat up and her body's been beat up and she's always sacrificed uh, herself for the team. You know, and we've asked her to play a variety of positions. Um, very proud of, of how much she's invested in herself and into this program. And tonight was a special night, but uh, usually when you're a senior, you have two really special nights, right? Senior night, your last home game, when you go to postseason, and then the most important night when you walk down the stage and get your diploma. So uh, looking forward to seeing her do that. Um, but yeah, she's meant a lot because she's been in those battles and she's been in those wars. It all kind of worked out with that last play for her, right? Yeah, yeah, we were able. She scored. Ball was going all over the place. We were able to get a timeout and then get her out of there. <laughs> I don't even know if I can. <laughs> um, it's just like breathtaking to know, like, you know, this is your last game in the Yingling Center. Um, I was telling them in the locker room, I was like, there is no other experience than that. Like, no matter if it was the last basket that I make or whatever, um, just having, you know, the crowd cheering for you, you know, your coaches standing for you, hugging you, you know, it's just, it's breathtaking. And, you know, it's very emotional. I'm a very emotional person, so um, I couldn't help it. I just had to release it. Like, it was a very emotional day all day. Like, I was... I just had to hold it in for like the last couple of seconds and that was kind of me letting it out. Um, I love this team because um, they've helped me so much through this year. So it was really amazing. Does it help to digest the emotions throughout the game when you guys are playing so well, especially in that second half? Um, well, uh, I didn't have the greatest start. Um, so I think I was a little jittery, um, but you know, my teammates are you know what pushed me harder than anyone else. Um, so, you know, after I kind of calmed down and we started going on some runs, you know, that really helped us. And, you know, coach said what he said at halftime. Um, you know, we had to get the ball out of our hands. We had to stop dribbling. We had to pass it up. We had to, you know, create for other people, not for ourselves. So at that point, we realized, like, that we have to buy into that. Like, we have to understand he's not going to put us in situations that we're going to fail. So uh, once he told us that and once we started buying into that, we kind of, you know, took off from there. Tamara, uh, you probably could have gone elsewhere to play and get, gotten more playing time than your time at USF, but you stay here all four years and you finish what you started. How much more does a night like this mean considering that? Well, honestly, for me, it's not about play time. It's not about starting. It's, you know, the love, how much love that I have around me. And I think from the coaches and from my teammates, from the support that we have here at USF, um, all that love, all that, all that family feeling is here. No matter if I played two minutes every year, like it, it didn't matter to me because I have a team here that loved me, that supported me and pushed me every day. And I had coaches that pushed me every day to be the best person I can be um, on and off the court. So this is just a feeling that I can't explain because it's just it's it's a lot of emotion, it's a lot of happiness, it's a lot of sadness that I'm leaving. But overall, I'm just gonna miss how much support was here. Elena, you want to keep it down over there? For <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she got it. <laughs> she said I like, she wants, I like, I like listening. <laughs> just the one question for you. Then you put up 20 points again in this game. A lot of them coming on the fast break. Is is the fast break attack? Has that been integral to the way your game has developed? Uh, I mean, if we didn't share that the the ball that good, especially in the second half, I wouldn't have made any of my points. Especially when he was having that open looks, it was much easier to make an, an easy basket. We didn't even have to call the plays and stuff. We were just running. That was easier for us. Yes. She put up nine assists in this game. How exactly? How pivotal and how 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 important has she been to this team from the back? Court? Really, really important. She is definitely an excellent playmaker for me, and she's like an example for all the playmakers. Yes. Yeah, so I, you know, you're a freshman, so you, this is your first year here. But just playing under the tutelage of Tamara Hemshaw, can you speak about what she's meant to this team? Oh, uh, okay. Even though I'm a freshman, we didn't have that like many moments like uh, with her. I'm really glad that I met her, and I wish the best to her career. Yes. Oh, don't <laughs> stop crying. 